Okay, in this example, we're going to use the zeros, the vertical asymptotes, and the horizontal asymptote to sketch the graph of the function f of x equals 3 over 2 minus x. So the first thing I would do for a rational function is I would try to factor the numerator and the denominator in general. In this case, there's no factoring to do, so that part's done for us. To find the zeros, so to find the zeros, what we do is we take the numerator, set it equal to zero, and solve. Well, in this case, certainly three doesn't equal zero, so that just tells us that there are no zeros. To find the, uh, the vertical asymptote, the vertical asymptote will take the denominator, set that equal to zero, and then simply solve for x. So to solve for x here, we could just add x to both sides. So x equals two will be our vertical asymptote. And to get the horizontal asymptote, in this case, notice that the degree of the numerator is zero, it's just a constant. The degree of the denominator is one because we have our, our x to the first power, negative x to the first power. So in this case, uh, since the degree, so I'm gonna abbreviate, since the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, Since the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, that tells us that y equals zero is gonna be our horizontal asymptote. So at this point, you know, honestly, just based on that, we don't have a ton of information, I would say, to go on. So let's see, x equals two is our vertical asymptote, so let me put that in there. We simply said that there was, there are no zeros, so we said there's no zeros, y equals zero or the x-axis is gonna be our horizontal asymptote. But now let's just plot a few points. Um, that's certainly, I don't think is a terrible idea. So let's see. I'm just gonna put in a couple points. Let's say, let's use maybe x equals three and x equals four. So we would have three over two minus three, if I substitute in x equals three. Well, that's gonna be three over negative one or negative three. X equals four, that'll give us three over two minus four, which will be three over negative two or negative three halves. So let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna put those values in there. So at negative three, excuse me, at positive three, we get negative three. And at x equals four, we're at negative three halves. So let's see, that's one and a half. So somewhere right there. And you can keep plotting points and you'll see that your graph, the bottom right portion of it, again, it gets close to that horizontal asymptote and it gets close to the vertical asymptote. I know it doesn't cross I know it doesn't cross the x-axis again because we know that there's no zeros. So again, remember a rational function can cross its horizontal asymptote. It doesn't have to like this example shows. It can cross a horizontal asymptote, but again in this case we said there's no zeros, which means it doesn't cross. So let's see, uh, we could also, let's plot maybe two more points. Let's use two and one. I think you'll see we've got a little bit of symmetry here, at least about excuse me, not two, because that'll give us, we know that that's undefined. So let's use x equals one and x equals zero. Um, we're gonna have some symmetry about our vertical asymptote is what's gonna happen. All right, so if we plug in, if we simply plug in x equals one, we'll have three divided by two minus one, which is gonna give us three. If we put in zero, we'll have three divided by two minus zero, which is three halves. So let's see, at one we're now up here at positive three, at zero we're at three halves. And again, if you plot some more points, your graph again, well look, it'll have the same, the same, uh, the same general shape to it as it did in the bottom right. It's just gonna be flipped 
and that's now going to be in the top left. So, so again, some symmetry about the about the vertical asymptote and the, the horizontal asymptote. But again, that's all we're doing. So I think in this case, without the zero, the, you know, there's no zeros. The only thing we really had to go on was the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote. So in this case, you can always plot some more points. Or if you feel really comfortable, you can think about the graph of 1 over x and then start doing some reflections and some shifting and some stretching to get our, the graph that we came up with.